Hello everyone, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up thank you. Chicago PD needs officers, there's no two ways about it. The season literally opened with Trudy Platt, Amy Morton, stating that the IU can't be short-staffed for a long period of time and that Hank Voigt, Jason Bake, was going to need to find replacements. The episode Safe Harbor introduced one of these replacements, Danny Alvarado, E.J. Bonilla. The officer looked capable enough in the field and was more than game to follow Kim Burgess, Marina Squirciati, through a pretty harrowing case involving abused refugees, but looks can be deceiving. See I said Joe P.D. E.J. Bonilla as Danny Alvarado, Patrick John Fluger as Adam Ruzik. It turns out that Alvarado is not the kind of officer that Voigt and the rest of the IU want to associate with. Burgess discovered that Alvarado sexually assaulted one of the refugee women they had been trying to protect and then ordered her murder. You read that right. Not only is Alvarado not going to continue with the IU, but he's going to prison for a very long time for his heinous actions. It was a shocking development for a character we never really got a good feel for, and now that we know what he was up to, he ranks among the most despicable officers in the history of the show. Alvarado's exit brings things back to the central issue of the premiere. What is the IU going to do with one less officer than usual? Well, the reason Chicago PD felt so comfortable writing in Alvarado as a one-and-done character is because Dan Torres, Benjamin Levy Aguilar, is coming back. Save a Joe P. D. Benjamin Levy Aguilar as Dan Torres, Yara Martinez as Gloria Perez. Torres has missed several episodes, including the season 10 final and the season 11 premiere, and his absence has been chalked up to his desire to care for his mother. He's been on furlough for over six months, but the promo photos for the upcoming episode confirms that he is going to back in the mix full-time. Torres has had his professional struggles, namely his decision to waterboard a suspect during an interrogation, but he's absolute saint compared to Alvarado, and it will be nice to see him back in action for the second half of season 11. It'll also be nice to know that Alvarado is going to be going anywhere, anytime soon. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our Chicago Pete official channel and stay with us.